I'm Kyle. Hi, Hi Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> this is only my second time coming here, so Woo! I'm going to be Thank you, Aaron and Lisa. Yeah. Great man. Anyway, I, uh, so I was raised Presbyterian and, uh, until I was about 12, and then I, my mm -hmm. parents left me to my own devices. And I got lost in the forest when I was 16. I was on a hunting trip over near Aberdeen, and my dad and cousin went different directions, and I still had my rifle. And I was 16, I was lost, and it started to rain and get dark, and then fog rolled in. And then I saw the same trees that I saw uh, about an hour ago. So I put the lean to, and I crawled inside and put my rain slicker on, and uh, Two hours went by, and I'm thinking I'm gonna die at that point because I'm a scared teenager. <laughs> and so, you know, and then something started crunching around outside, outside my lean-to, yeah. and I peed myself because I didn't want to go out and take a leak. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get eaten. Yeah. And uh, at that point, I broke down and remembered all my Presbyterian ways and started begging, <laughs> begging for God's help. <laughs> and I begged, and I said, I'm sorry, I'll do anything. You just need to save me and get me the hell out of here. And I'm, I'm your man, yeah. just call me. And uh, in, in three minutes, three minutes, just three minutes, search and rescue no. shined up a light and started calling over a loudspeaker and I'd been lost for three hours. And so at that point, I, I renewed my faith and, uh, and, and, and uh, that lasted about two years until, uh, until I uh, stopped believing. And then uh, I went towards Buddhism and, uh, you know, the Navy and I, I got lots of uh, Buddhist friends overseas and in here, here too. Anyway, uh, not a Buddhist anymore. Uh, I still practice some Zen, but I, I don't believe anything that they believe. So uh, anyway, what I mean is, <laughs> 23 years went by, and uh, I turned my back on God because that's what you do after you get saved. And uh, so uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so about uh, I'm an alcoholic, and so I, I've come to realize that, and I've been, you know. 16 days sober, but I've tried to quit like 13 times. Right. I'll quit for a month or five weeks or two weeks or, you know, so, but uh, this time I'm getting help. And thank you. Everyone. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I think God's helping. Amen. Anyway, so I don't want to, <laughs> you just stop me. I'll talk forever. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I'm joking. So, uh, so, uh, uh, what happened was, uh, my wife left me in September and then, uh, in court, and I'm going to file for divorce, big mistake. Uh, then my kids got taken away, and now I've lost my house. So, by the grace of only the kindness that I've shown my customers over the years, I have three different places to live. So, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, they, but all that crap happened to me Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I started to get horribly depressed. Wow. And I thought, nah, I can, I can, I'm, I'm a sailor. I can get right here with this, no problem. Nobody loves me. I don't give a shit. But uh, so, but that that is not true at all. So, all that's a lie. And so I got so horribly depressed. I was going to end it, you know, right around uh, my wife's birthday, the day after Thanksgiving. And uh, I don't use Siri ever because I think that Siri is listening. You know, I don't trust her anyway. I, uh, who would want that a freaking true. robot on your phone? <laughs> Dangerous. So I never have her activated. So Pandora opens up and starts playing a song. Now that could happen sometimes on my old i6s that still works, so I think it's better than the new iPhone. But uh, Pandora starts playing, and it's a 1980s dance channel, right when I was about to you know, commit the act or whatever. And I know it sounds bad, but that was many months ago. Anyway, uh, and the song that came on is A Deal With God. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, you know, that, that kind of scared me. You know, because I mean, you know, Everything else, preparations have been made, and so. But uh, and I said, "Screw that! That's that's not that's not happening." And I, I clicked skip, and the next song was "Touched by the Hand of God." <laughs> oh my word! I, said, no, I called bull on that one. I said, "No, you're not doing this to me. You're not going to save me this time." And I clicked skip, and the next hand is, or the next song was "Send Me an Angel." <laughs> and at that point, I was done. Yeah. God had me. 
and I, 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 I turned, I just, I, I literally, I repented that very mm. same day. Wow. I surrendered to the will of God, wow. and I quit drinking two days later, uh, which I started yeah. drinking again on Christmas, but I didn't last for five weeks, <laughs> you know, or a month. But Thank whatever. you, Jesus. Wow. That's so, amazing. Yeah. That's and amazing. Then, uh, and then, uh, you know, everything has led me up to this point, coming to your church, and I'm picky about my pastors and my, my who I listen to. So the only person that you remind me of, and I've heard many, many people speak, is, is uh, uh, Pastor Vance, uh, and Vance Pittman of Hope Baptist Church in Las Vegas. Now that guy, you could tell he had, he had belief and faith and passion and fire, you know, and, and I would sit through all these sermons. So like, like last weekend, I went to a Catholic church and I couldn't say which one. And I tell you, I about fell asleep standing up. And I was like, this ain't for me. I can't do it. They got some nice little replacement, but no thanks. And so uh, that's my story for now. Oh, yeah. Man.